Hello everyone! It is part two of a story time from the last video which was um, all about the sand dune creation. Well, I have another one and because I couldn't film on, this one is way better than the other one by the way, but because I could not film on location, I'm gonna have to do it like this, but I do have some clips from it and I'm gonna break it down how I created this when I didn't even know that I was gonna be creating it and how everything just all came together perfectly and I truly believe I may have created my best yellow dress image to date. It was all very unexpected. Yeah, so let's get into it. about the image I do want to address the growth of this channel so if you're new here please subscribe because it definitely helps me grow and try and watch through the whole video because that only helps the algorithm push everything forward um, what I really need to start incorporating which I know already and I'm okay with this I'm just trying to figure out the best strategy for it is shorts and shorts will be kind of posted everywhere else like Instagram and TikTok and all of that simply because that's just the way that the world is moving and if you can step back from our hatred towards um, reels and all of those other things then you can see that they can really essentially just help you reach new audiences and um, they're basically like a business card for your channel so that's how I'm looking at it but I'm gonna have to hire um, an editor to help me with them because I don't have time to create the shorts I was thinking of splicing up all the videos that I do already make and then turning those into the short form ones okay anyways enough on that but definitely trying to grow the channel I'm always trying to learn the best way forward because if I grow uh, you guys grow we all grow we're doing it together because we are a big yellow team all right, the image, oh my goodness, holy smokies. This was just wild, unexpected and wild. Um, this is Mesquite Dunes in Death Valley National Park. Obviously we took our group there. We ended up going at about 2.33 p.m. So the fact that this is created during that wild time of harsh light is just makes it even more mind blowing. But I'll tell you why, because the conditions are perfect for this type of light and then bam, magic happened. Right away, walking to the dunes, it was very, very windy. Like the first half of the tour was just windy almost all the time. It was kind of a pain in the butt. But good thing that it was windy here, otherwise this image would not look the way that it is. So we walked to the dunes, there's kind of a little bit of a secret spot for photography people, photography tours. Um, I'm not going to share where it is, I'm just going to tell you that there's a secret spot. But anyways, as we were walking towards the dunes, it usually takes about 30 minutes to get there. Of course it's windy, and the closer you get to the dunes, the more sand and wind and crazy light you can see that is spreading all over. So what happens when it's really windy and the the sand is blowing is the light catches it in a way that is just absolutely magical so without the wind again this wouldn't be possible however it's very very tricky to photograph in these conditions and you'll see that everybody is kind of bundled up and protecting themselves and then there's me just decides to 
could change right there on spot and go into my dress and no protection no nothing nothing protecting my eyes or my mouth because i'm just so damn determined to get the image that i will suffer through all those things it wasn't that bad like nothing none of my gear is destroyed and of course there's still sand in my bag but i was totally fine my dress just had sand in it for a while and it would then uh transfer out into my bag so that was okay willing to suffer a little bit for the shot but anyways as the group just starts exploring the dunes usually everybody goes off on their own and i always try to incorporate the self-portrait part wherever i can because they I, I get the participants photographing it and we usually have a lot of fun playing around with it so for this particular one I was photographing it with another girl, Houston. She is really, really lovely, but I basically told her, hey, this is the vision that I'm seeing right now because the scene, like it was wild, the layers and the light and just the curves of the dunes and how it was all working together. And then there was this point that was like a mountain and oh my gosh, just absolute heaven. I knew as soon as we approached the scene, I just could see myself standing there and the wind was perfect and everything just all lined up together. So I told her, this is what we're doing. I am going to change. I'm gonna set up my camera. I'm gonna put on my remote and I'm just gonna run over there. I will, I was using my shutter release, but obviously I asked her to watch it just in case it stopped going. And then she sat up beside me and got some of her own shots, which actually turned out really, really great. So essentially what I did was set up the tripod. I set up my settings and I couldn't use my, I couldn't connect to the uh, Wi-Fi on my phone at the time. So I ended up having to use my shutter release remote, which is my, one of my favorite methods to use. I locked it in and I ran around the side. Everybody always asks me how I avoid um, footprints in the sand. I always come in from the side. Don't go directly across, take a wide girth and come in from the side of the frame. So that's what I did. Came in from the side and I just basically walked this ridge a few times back and forth. And that is what essentially created the image. This one that I really, really love, which turned out to be the best, I actually had my back facing the camera and was facing straight on. It was pretty much the only one that turned out because my dress is so, so dramatic. Um, it just, yeah, it like, it's almost like too much material sometimes. So again, it didn't really work out except for this one. And I'm glad because there was no way that I was doing it again. I underexposed because the light was beautiful, but it was still a little bit harsh. So I just knew I wanted to protect the highlights and really take advantage of all the beautiful backlight that was everywhere. And then yeah, this image was born. What I really, really like about it is that I just think the whole image just screams curves and almost like power, like a stance of power. So I am powerful in my yellow dress, apparently. Um, but that's the feeling that I get from it, just like this feeling of strength. So normally I actually struggle using the yellow dress against the sand. I created an image last year that I do really like, but this one totally tops it. But I find that purple and white is actually the easiest color to use here. However, for this image in particular, because of the light, I actually think I am just more like one with the sand, if that makes any sense. Again, going back to the curves of the dress, the curves of how my pose is and the curves of the background, I feel like it just all works together to create this one uniform image that revolves around curves. So there's that, there's that image that I created. Totally unexpected. Um, it was one of those moments where you're just like, yes, 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 yes. Well, everything is so perfect right now. And those are some of the best moments. And I know these are ones that us photographers, we live for. So just embrace the unexpected. And when you have, I have like 20 minutes to create this image. So when you, this is when having like top-notch skill really helps you create things because sometimes you do not have a lot of time. I really, really enjoy this image. I'm so happy that it happened. So the only downfall of filming with the iPhone is that uh, you need to secure it properly. Like I do not or else it just always topples over. So you have to have like the little tripod adapter to really make it work. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the behind the scenes of this creation. 
Oh, it was so good. So, so good. So unexpected and so good. Smiling from ear to ear for, for so many reasons. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video as it really, really helps me grow. And I'm going to London actually on March 6th and I will be creating there as well. I'm taking the yellow dress to a new country because uh, that's obviously going to become a theme over this next year. And I can't wait. I it's, gonna not, it's actually not going to be based around landscape. It's going to be based around the city and finding the most, the oldest and the most romantic streets that I can. And yeah, I'm really, really excited to take it there and create. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.